Hey, this is Dave from Glass Animals, and you're watching MB. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Dave from Glass Animals. Hey. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. I just have awesome. to kick things off by saying congrats on the release of How to Be oh, a Human thanks. Being. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. It feels good that it's finally out, feels finally good. unleashed it. Yeah, it's, it's like sending your kid off to school for the first day. <laughs> I don't actually have a kid, but... Uh, I imagine that's what it would be well, like. With all the work yeah. you put into it, it's kind of like bringing a kid up in a way. I think so. I think so. Yeah, hopefully he'll make some friends and have a good time at school. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I found very cool with this record is you actually created a new word for one of the songs, which was McFuck. McFuck. <laughs> and you, you shared yeah. that through all your socials. Like, we made a new word. It is on this record. So how did that yeah. kind of come to fruition? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just <laughs> popped into my head. Um, yeah. I think I think I like saw someone eating eating McDonald's and I saw that I saw it and I was like what the McFuck is that in my <laughs> head I didn't say it um, and then yeah I just thought oh, that's quite a weird word just fit, felt fitting for the song yeah and then I was writing this like big like spiel stream of con consciousness thing that's on the record and it came up yeah just fit. Well, we were running an exclusive giveaway with Final Me, please, uh, yeah. when your record was their record of the month. And when we were doing that, we, the way people had to enter was telling us their favorite song off of the record. And there was an overwhelming response, and it was season two, episode three. Oh, really? Okay, yes. cool. It's a fan That's cool. favorite when it came to people entering. So what can you tell us about yeah. the song for all those people who love it out I there? I mean, everyone knows someone like the character. And each song in this, this album is a different character, and everyone knows someone like that character who just spends way too much time sitting on the sofa doing nothing playing video games smoking watching tv um we've probably all done it binge watching netflix uh for hours and hours at a time and yeah then the, we kind of extrapolated that into the sonics of the of the song and so, so we tried to make all the, the sounds sounds that she'd hear in her everyday life so nintendo sounds like we i got all these old synthesizers um, and tried to make all these 80s, 90s Nintendo sounds and sampled TVs going on and off in the background and there are all these swirly synths to simulate the the smoke in the room, all this white noise. If you listen really carefully, there's all this like white noise spinning around. Yeah. What was it like learning about all of these different characters? Because you pretty much were inspired by everyone from taxi drivers to fans that you had met on the road. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I, yeah, meeting people is amazing, and they all have amazing stories to tell you. Um, sometimes they're incredibly sad, sometimes really heartwarming, sometimes disgusting, strange, hilarious, the whole, the whole range. And um, there are little stories on the surface. They're all just telling you these little stories, but if you look past the story, you know, they're, they're also telling you a bit about what their life is like and what the world is like around them. And I, I thought all those layers were quite interesting. So I, th I thought it'd be fun to make up my own characters with their own stories and um, hopefully talk about a lot of the same things that, that these people were telling me in, in mm -hmm. taxis and in venues and outside at parties and things like that. Well, tell me about one of your favorite characters that you created, one of the favorite? fictional people, whether one's on the front cover, featured in one of your videos. Um, what can I tell you? Um, so, let's choose, I mean, I, there's a guy, oh sh I'm not meant to say which character's which. Okay, we'll keep the fans guessing. Okay, yeah, there's a track called Pork Soda, and I think that's one of my favourite characters. He's, he's a homeless guy who's kind of thinking about his past and what his life should have been like. Um, he's, he's one of my favourite, he's just a, a very, very cool guy who is quite unlucky in life. And then to make his his story come to life on on record we went outside and we made a drum kit out of trash because he's homeless and it, just out next to a bus stop so you can hear the buses whizzing by and we just recorded it with one microphone just playing playing these trash drums um and all all the vocals like shouted and really distorted so it's meant to feel like you're outside and you're living his life well, I love the cover because at the front you kind of get a glimpse into these characters' lives, but in the back you see more into it. It's a bit more telling yeah, the back yeah, sleeve. Yeah, it gets cheeky. Yes. It gets cheeky. <laughs> and yeah, we did a different, actually a different cover for each format. So the CD, the American vinyl, the European vinyl, the deluxe vinyl, the Vinyl Me Please version, they, they all have different covers, um, different photographs and slightly different borders. And hopefully they give you a different insight into the characters, each one.
Well, what's a glass animal's back sleeve about yourselves that you could tell us? Are there any cheeky facts that might not cheeky be uh, circling the interwebs out there yet? What can I tell people? Um, ooh, I don't want to give too much away. Drew, our guitarist, he's a he's a black belt in karate. Okay. Oh yeah, he's really good. Um, what else can I tell you? Joe, our drummer, uh, he was the second place national great britain under 12's javelin thrower pretty amazing right <laughs> yeah um he was in a park one day and he like threw a ball i think he threw like a rugby ball or something and some there was, just happened to be some olympic scout there as well and so really? threw this ball and they're like dude that was really it. far <laughs> um and then he went there and he like blew he just he was terrible at it so he threw like the first two throws and they went like 15 feet just scuffed <laughs> it and the last throw just whoosh, whoosh, went forever <laughs> yeah it's a great tidbit it's amazing yeah we have also announced in the new you're going to be playing a show at the brixton academy that's true yes, yes. and you were saying how excited you are because i believe it was you who said that was one of the first shows you ever went to when yeah. you were 12. yes i yeah that was really scary because I was too young to actually go into the venue. I think it was like a 14 plus show, or like a 16 plus show. And I remember like being really nervous with my ticket like, going up. Will they let me in? Will they let me in? They let me in. And it was amazing. What show was it for? Uh, it was a band called Block Party. Oh, Block Party, of Everyone course. Everyone knows Block Party, right? <laughs> yeah, it was like the first album, first and album tour. And how's it feel to kind of know things have come full circle now that you're going to be playing there? Really strange. Yeah. Really, really strange. Um, I don't, like, I. It's gonna. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to start smiling during that show. Five. Yeah, it's a few months away. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, just to wrap everything up, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing the interview? Just any parting words for oh. everybody. H hello. Um, thanks for listening to this interview. It's been lovely, and um, I really hope to see you soon. Thanks for all your support. It's incredibly meaningful. Thank you. Awesome. I should say thank you so much for chatting today. Pleasure. We really appreciate Thanks. it. It was really fun. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. Bye.